everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alicia. I have two boys, ages 14 and almost 10. He's turning 10 beginning of May. Um, and then we have baby number three coming in July. We do not know this baby's gender. Uh, so I've been kind of trying to prepare more neutral things, but also bringing in some girl things in case it is a girl. We kind of think it might be a girl, but we have no idea, honestly. So um, just trying to prepare the best way that I can. In this video, I thought today we would talk a little bit about the new things that I have gotten for baby and preparing for baby. Um, and then the things that I still need to get to as far as the nursery goes. The nursery is still not done and it bothers me um, because this is coming up on a very, very busy time of the year for our family. So in the summer, we are at our cabin a lot. We just bought a brand new boat, or brand new to us, not a brand new boat, um, and sold our old boat. Uh, we have to go get our cabin opened up. My husband's going this weekend. So we spend a lot of time there uh, during the summer. And then I also do a ton of gardening. So I'm outside a lot. Um, just so busy with all of that. So I don't have a lot of time to do all my nursery prep. So I still need a recliner, not a recliner, but a, I want an upholstered rocking chair, but not a glider. Uh, for the nursery, I need a like a nightstand because I want to have that set up as like a pumping station, probably some kind of lamp. Um, I want a rug. And then um, <laughs> I also need to figure out what I'm doing for the changing table. So I really want to do a Moses basket of some kind. I'm just not totally sure that's what I'm going to do because I think they are way too expensive, like $100 for a basket, seriously for a grass basket. Um, so if anybody knows of any alternatives or anything that's less than that, let me know. Um, otherwise we might just do a regular pad on the dresser. So I also got a few things from Carter's, just strictly girl things. They were on sale and they were the pretty, um, like the soft, pretty colors that I like. So more earthy toned. Um, so I'm gonna share those with you guys as well. A couple of them could be used for boy or girl. I'll show you those first. Um, but they have a new line at Carter's that is called Little Planet and I love it. So it's organic cotton and it's all those kind of more earthy neutral tones. So I got little onesie, this is striped. And all the, the stuff that I got is newborn because I really didn't have any newborn sizes yet. And then it was like a three pack. So it came with this one. So pretty, it's got little leaves on it. And then koalas too. I thought that was super cute. And then I got a set of four girl ones. And then if it's not a girl, it's not the end of the world, but it'll bother me to not have girl stuff if it's a girl. Boy stuff can be I mean, the neutral stuff will work fine for a boy. And then I'll just, if it's a girl, I'll just add a headband. So this one has little flowers on it. Same as the white, but it's pink. Little flowers, if it'll focus. So I thought those were super cute. And then I got a few sleepers too. And I think these are all like Little Planet. I think they're all Little Planet. Maybe the girl onesies weren't. Those might be just, yeah, those are just Carter's brand. This is the Little Planet. And then this is just Carter's. Just gold, little yellow mustard hearts. So cute. And I'm really like contemplating if I should take the tags off and wash these all or if I should do that. But like if I need to resell them, <laughs> if it's a boy. <laughs> I don't have a lot of girl stuff, it's just a few things. And this one's like mauve. 
just to get us through the beginning at least and then figure it out from there. We might have a shower of some kind. My sister and my mom keep asking me about that. After the baby comes, since we don't know the gender, that's what I did for my sister too. So might do that. Also got a diaper bag. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a post I did about this diaper bag. I was looking for a diaper bag forever. Um, and they were either like not what I was looking for or they were super expensive and they were not even like actual leather, they were vegan leather and they were still just insanely expensive. So I absolutely, after a lot of research um, and looking, I found this bag on Amazon and it is awesome. So I love it, it is the color I wanted. It can be worn as a backpack. It has like these straps back here. So, and then these hook onto here. It can be worn as a backpack or you can wear it like side strap like that, which is probably how I'll wear it the most. It's like the perfect um, medium sized bag. I find that that's what I use the most with babies. Um, it's just, the big ones are just too big for all the time. So this will be perfect. And it has like all the things that I was looking for. So it has in the inside tons of pockets. You can't even see them all here. But like the outside, it has places to tuck and zip all the way around. And then like even the back, it has this handle here and you can tuck in the backpack straps, which I think is awesome. And then it comes with a changing pad. And there is five, I think five pockets inside of here that are like bungee pockets. And then another like three that you can zip up. It also has insulated pockets for bottles, which I really wanted. Plan to breastfeed this baby, so it's nice that I can have um, milk in there. That isn't gonna go bad. Throw a nice pack in there with it. So this one had awesome reviews. Oh, and it also has stroller straps. So you can just strap it right onto your stroller. I love it. There's so much space, and it's like well made. This was, 50 bucks, I think, compared to like, um, I don't know, what are they, 100 and, they're way more for the other ones that are just like the, this one. So it's a nice dupe. Miss Fong. Anyways, I'll link it below, okay? It is amazing. The quality is nice and it's a sturdy bag, like it's not all slumped over. It's really, really, really nice actually. And if it gets wrecked, it was 50 bucks and I can buy a new one, it's not so bad. So I love that. A few other things that I bought for baby recently um, is I went on Etsy and I bought a really nice like six layer muslin blanket. I really wanted one of those um, for like in the stroller and to just be like our go-to um, blanket that we grab all the time to like throw in with the baby in the car seat when we go places when it gets a little cooler especially so I found one that is a color called oat and I love it it is a nice um, creamy you know well cream so love that it'll go with everything else that I have for baby um, I also got a pacifier clip for the baby from that same Charlie Charles store on Etsy. I'm so excited for the, these to come. Um, and that is, it's made out of muslin cloth too. So I loved that. I'll share those when I get them. So definitely check out my Instagram. Definitely be sharing them on there. And then I also got some burp cloths from that store too that were all muslin cloth. So those seem just absolutely beautiful. I loved them. Oh, I recently bought the Owlet Duo with the, the third generation sock, which is like kind of a splurge. Um, but 
I found one for a really good deal and decided I didn't want to pass it up. I know that it's kind of a an item that people either love or they hate. And I've heard that the Outlet 3 is much better than the previous two that they had um, as far as tracking baby and sensitivity and things like that. So I'm really excited to try that out. Um, I'll have a review after baby's here on that for sure. And then I also bought my maternity dress. I'm gonna take maternity photos. I'm going to attempt to take them myself. And if it doesn't work out, then I will um, hire someone to take them for me. But I got a dress that I can wear um, not pregnant, pregnant, or like at my shower too. So I can use it for several different things. It's so pretty. Very excited for that to come. Um, definitely check out my Instagram for that as well be sharing those photos on there and then I got a hospital robe for myself and then I got a um, like a not take-home outfit because it's a gown for baby but I got it from Caden Lane and it's like a very neutral um, gown with greenery on it that I'll be using in the hospital for baby I also got myself some Kidder Bravely nursing maternity slash nursing bras and postpartum um, underwear that I'm excited about too. I have a huge diaper order coming too that I got from Nikki's Earth Day sale. So all my cloth diapers will be here soon and then I have enough for the whole newborn stage. I have a variety of brands so I think that what I have will work. Um, and then I definitely have some for when baby gets a little bit bigger too. I have a doctor's appointment this week. I have to do that glucose test. Thursday, hoping to get out and do some gardening as well this week before I get too big and I can't do it anymore. So I bought a bunch of plants at the nursery yesterday and they're like literally living in my kitchen right now because I can't put them outside because it's too cold. So I want to get those in the ground. I'll be doing um, a pregnancy update probably week 28. So I'll be 27 weeks this week. So not until next week or so I'll be doing another pregnancy update because there's not a lot of changes that happen now other than my size. So um, I'll go over all that and my appointments and how baby's measuring in probably my one of my next videos. And then I'll also do a hospital and diaper bag packing when I get all that ready. So that'll be a future video as well to be watching for. Um, and then as I get more done in the nursery, I'll definitely do another nursery update and tour. So we'll be watching for those future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you next time.